Well, but it seems like there's always been enough water to do both. To do, yes, yes. Well, and unfortunately, though, they see when this, when this uh, Central Valley project went in, there was, what, there were 18 million, now we're up to 38 million, but there's, there has been, nothing has been done. We've tried to get a, a temperance dam in here, and of course we can't put that in. The northern farmers want to put a dam in, and, and we, we were turned down annually. But there's no there's no intent to uh, other to conserve and, and we said here with drip system that this is the most conservative uh, situation to be in. If you, if you see those, I uh, see those drip lines those out drip there. Those drip lines. How can you be any more uh, more uh, conservative than, than that? And, and so we're doing our part, but that's not acknowledged. It's, uh, they they think they, they 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 need that that water. It's going to cost uh, it's going to cost a lot of money to clean up that sewage situation they have and this seems to be politically and environmentalists they're in it together and they're they, they control the voting now and, and you, you have no uh, you, have, you seem to have no recourse we went and picked at uh, George Miller's office uh, a couple of weeks ago and, and, and of course we didn't expect to talk to him the only only thing we did want to bring to his attention uh, the, the problem which he well knows and, and hope to have a little shock effect but I'm sure that's the first time he's been picketed by a thousand people in his office. Of course we didn't make the news up there. They, all the news went to there were some sport fishermen there and they interviewed the sport fishermen really didn't want to interview us. Yeah the, the media tends to be a little bit biased. Biased on yes how they and how in, in, uh, in, in George Miller's case he's the one that votes down anything that has to do with the Central Valley and the water. And he's, he's been the main player in taking it, taking the water away from our contracts. So that's why we went up there. But that, that seems to be. So you, you said you tried to get a couple of dams approved. I know. Well, we we've been working for years a temperance dam on the east side of Fresno, and, and then there's a group of northern farmers that've been attempting to, to have a dam put in up there, and that's what you. We need more storage. You can't have a mm -hmm. uh, you can't have a 120 percent increase in population and not expect to conserve your way into the next 50 years. It's just not going to work. But that's what that's what they're saying. Well, uh, got, the farmers got to be more conservative with their water. We're, we're, we're probably the most conservative farmers water-wise uh, <laughs> yeah. in the United States. You look at even tomatoes here. These, when they have it, they, they put it, we use a drip system in them. We, we don't, the last seven, eight years, we, with the water so expensive, we've had to do that. And right next to us, is that a cotton field right there? Or so what was that? that well, that was an onion. Onion, okay. Yes. And, and I, I don't know what happened there, but they never did harvest it, so I, I assume they ran out of water. Ran out of water, yeah. They just dried up on them and they had to abandon it. Yeah, there's a lot of onions that, sticking out there. <laughs> and, and it's, uh, tremendous amount of money in that crop as, as in trees and when you lose them you, you lose another lose another food source or not somebody producing food very economically destructive you know when uh, in, in ancient times when the armies would put a siege on a town they cut off their water supplies right. to, to take over take over <laughs> defeat yes. the town yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and and that's what is happening here it is when you take the water supply away from a large agriculture area and you, you have, it doesn't take many years that you bankrupt the, and, and then the water and then, then they, they've got the water at, at, at no cost and there's, and there's nobody has offered to come out and say well we need this water and we'll buy you out at, at fair market value the crop you have in there with no they're not a, they they're not they're not offering that well, yeah. Once the water's off, then the property values it drop. Has no has no value at all, and that's the nice thing saying earlier. Then the bankers, when it puts the banker in a tremendous situation, he he's looking at it. You know, our value just plummets. It, well, I, I think not just the banker, but the state of California has a budget problem right now, and, and the counties, the counties. They seem to they could have a solution. All you got to do is turn the water, turn the water on. on instead yeah. of getting these tumbleweeds out here. Get a uh, a, a crop that crop. produces value. And, and I'm looking, I'm talking about my problem, but all the, the, the farm workers that live here and want to have you and have no jobs. I mean, there's a tremendous amount of them, and, 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 and uh, they, they have really no place to go. They're, they're, they're the food lines, they, they have a food line in Mendota once a week now. And, and that, the town has, I guess, around 
percent unemployment, but you, you, you know, those, those people up there, they, it's 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 big farmers. They 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 don't really care. They they, they don't. Well, it, it's almost like the environmentalists and the politicians don't care about the people anymore. anymore they're, yes, well, that is, that's they're making man an endangered species. species yes, and, they, and they're, they're they're you know they're concentrating on a on one one area. When you, when you do that, you you, you eventually you, you succeed in, in destroying an area. Yeah, I would think the governor would just issue an executive order to save this stuff and save the state and have the water turned on. Well, and here, here, here like we're saying, we're, the finances of the state is broke, and we could be producing how many more millions of dollars of income that would, that would expand outward. No, no, that that's that has no, we're not concerned about that. We're, we're out to take your water, and, and that's it. And it would increase real estate values across the state, state too. Because yes. as your real estate drops, it drops all around the state. Yeah. 